Hi, my name's Van Marshall, and you're watching Sport Icons. Now, Tyson Fury says that he's the only person who actually believes himself. And he was speaking to Piers Morgan on his retirement. This is what Tyson Fury had to say. I think I'm the only person who actually believes in what I'm saying. A lot of people are saying, oh, Tyson Fury doesn't know when he's telling the truth himself. But the future will tell if I'm telling the truth or not. Tyson Fury's statement to Piers Morgan on him retiring. Now, as far as him being the only person who actually believes what it is that he says, I would hope so. But even then, it's worrying himself if he actually believes in himself. But it's not true, though, because there are actually quite a few people out there. And yes, the UK educational system has a lot to answer for. It really does. It does create some absolute dumbasses who do believe in everything that Tyson Fury says. But of course, when people like me pointed out that he's lying and he's contradicting himself, they say, A sport of icons, you're a hater. A sport of icons, you hate gypsies. These are the kind of things that they come out with. Did that sound a bit like that that guy from uh, Little Britain? I think maybe it did. Anyway, quite honestly, though, I think I see some of these um, Tyson Fury fans. Not all of them. The majority of them are, are quality people. But there is a section of Tyson Fury fans very, very much in the mould of Jonte Wilder fans. Some of these fans where they are kind of like a, a, a mashup of the guy from Little Britain to that guy to Yarp in the uh, Hot Fuzz movie. They are. There's, they're somewhere between it. They are. And because they can't argue the points, you're just a hater. You hate gypsies. You're racist. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I, firstly, I shouldn't have to explain myself, but I'm a big fan of quite a few gypsy people. I am. I'm a huge fan of them. And I know uh, some of them personally, two of them are actually very good friends of mine. But they don't understand that. Oh, you hate the Furies. Really? I'm a huge fan of Peter and Huey. What are you talking about? And I like Shane and that as well. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but we don't like what you said. Listen, it's just madness. Believe what Tyson says all you like, but he will always turn out to be a liar. And that's kind of my answer to him and his statement, which is that if you didn't lie so much, then people wouldn't doubt him. People wouldn't question you every time you say something, especially when you say, I'm retired. OK, so you can give it the belt. No, I'm not, you daughter. Get up there, my boy. Well, are you going to break out the belt? No, no, I, no, I'm not. Well, clearly you're not fucking retired then, are you? You're not retired. Retarded, maybe, but not retired. See, it's lies. And I've seen people, even today, trying to defend him, saying, yeah, but he's bipolar. Again, these very same people... Don't even know what bipolar is. I think maybe they heard somebody say Tyson Fury's bipolar once and ran with it and said, well, that's why, because one day he believes in this and the next day he doesn't. He believes in something else. It's part of his bipolar disorder. You do know bipolar is depression, okay? Depression is not an excuse to lie. It isn't. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? They can lie about themselves in the extent of, yeah, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, 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 I'm all right, but, but, but really they're not. Or, no, I feel really, really bad, but... They actually feel okay. Tyson himself says he doesn't really get depressed too much anymore because he goes to the gym. That's his mental fix. If even any of that's true, let's be honest, we have to question it, and a lot of people do. In fact, I've seen some polls coming out. Do we believe in Tyson Fury's depression? Most people said no. And and it's unfortunate that people do think that. What do you mean? What do you mean? You can't question that. Why not? He lies about everything else. That said, I'm not saying that um, um, you know he's lying about it. But if he didn't lie so much, people wouldn't question it. I mean, where's this entire purse that he was supposed to have given from the first Deontay Wilder fight to the homeless? Did he do it? I mean, he's very open in saying he's going to do something, but when it comes around to actually doing it and proving it, he doesn't, does he? It doesn't. Now, I'm not saying he's a horrible person. I'm not saying that. He's probably a really nice person. I wouldn't know. Okay, but... It's just lies. There's no need for it. There's no need for it. I mean, he's what? 30 odd years old. He should know better. He's got family. He's got children. What kind of example are you setting them when you're lying all the time? He's, a, I know he's probably the kind of guy who would tell his children off for lying. But then go out there and lie to the world. Much like he did about wanting to fight Anthony Joshua. But then ducked him to go have a third fight of Wilder. You have a choice if you have no choice. He did have a choice. He signed the damn rematch. You forget about that? He was in that situation because he signed the rematch and he was the one who walked away and it was Wilder who had to take him to court to get the fight. 
Sometimes you have to do some thinking for people. You don't have to think for people. That's what I'm saying. The educational system has got a lot to answer for. It really does. But you need to quit with these lies. Stop it with the lies. If you say you're going to retire, then actually do it. All right? Give up the damn belt. Stop holding up the division and move on. If you're not going to re um, retire, then don't. Say you're not going to retire. See, this is why people like Joshua more than they do Fury. Because when Joshua says something, guess what he's going to do? He's going to do exactly what it is that he says. If Anthony Joshua said, you know what? That's it. I've had enough now. I'm retiring. Guess what he's going to do? He's going to retire. Because we don't see him as any, uh, any, anything other than, well, he said it, so he's going to do it. Even Deontay Wilder, we can say what we like about him. Yes, he comes out of every excuse in the book and he's got an absolute ball bag resume. But ultimately, when he was asked, are you going to retire or are you going to continue? Wilder says, I don't know. That's being honest. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I want to retire, but I want to go off to and see a Peruvian uh, witch doctor and take some psychedelics and go speak to some aliens and whatever else and then i'm gonna make a decision based on that hey it's funny but at least he's telling the truth at least he says when i don't know if i'm going to retire it means he doesn't know he hasn't said yeah i'm definitely going to retire and then people are going to question it he isn't same with most people when they tell you something you have to take it as face value but when you have a history of lying people are going to question your lies I know it hurts some people's feelings. Yeah, but what about Dillian White? You support Dillian White. What about Anthony Joshua? Gypsy King, there's only one Gypsy King. Well, they don't lie. Tyson does. It's not about Tyson Fury's ability in the ring. His ability is unwavered. It is. He's undefeated. His resume is improving. It ain't great, but it's improving. It's improving all the time. He just needs to go fight the winner of Joshua and Usyk. Ideally, both of them. Fight both of them, regardless of of the result of that. Go fight Joe Joyce in that as well. Why not? Go fight the winner of Luis Ortiz and Andy Ruiz Jr., which should be Andy Ruiz Jr. Do that. And then consider yourself the best of, best of this era. Stop it with the con man work. The whole lineal crap talk and all that kind of thing. Just stop lying. If you didn't lie so much, Tyson, people wouldn't question you. It's very simple. When Peter Fury says something, people go, okay, cool, he's telling the truth. When Anthony Joshua says it, he's telling the truth. When Dinny White says it, well, he's telling the truth. We don't question these things. Why? Because they don't have histories of lying. Tyson has a history of lying. Liar, liar, your pants on fire, Tyson. Anyway, my thoughts, drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.